What is up, my robot army? Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Let's just jump right into this. Uh, last time we went into episode one and we finished off, it was basically like the tutorial level. And now we're getting into the real meat of the game. Hello? This is Maya. Hey, Maya, it's me. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, it's... Real quick apology, I can't do female voices very well. I mean, at all. I've never really practiced them, and I just don't want to do this the entire time. I might do it for someone, but just bear with me on this. Sorry I've been so busy, how have you been? Well, lonely, and it's your fault! No, I'm just teasing. It's been- I've been great, I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know, you want me to hold evidence for you. Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about an up, up blah, 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 about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha, so what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like the stat that statue the thinker, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it, you always liked toys. Hey! I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now, you know I'm only teasing. <laughs> I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out, sorry. I put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm, well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office tonight, say, 9 to pick it up? I'll be in a pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner. Something good. Like, burgers! I could really go for a good burger. That voice is terrible. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll hit up, hit the usual joint. Alright, it's a deal! Okay, sis, see you soon. <laughs> yep, I'll be waiting, Maya. Damn it, my birthday! <laughs> that shit's messed up. This. I think this scene out of this entire game fucks me up a little bit. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine the papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, are you poor? You are. How the hell am I gonna do his voice? My, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Ho oh, ho, you're not confurious of my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. I, I should have been more careful. Ho oh, ho, my dear Miss Faye, I'm so very sorry. But I'm afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. So you haven't figured out how to do his voice yet. By the time he comes back, I might have a better. Red, white, blue. Not only does this like happen like the birthday thing, but <sighs> fuck this one fucks me up a bit more because it's even more personal. Uh oh, I'm late. Huh? That's strange. Guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood. Mia. Maybe she's in her office. Oh, we're we're gonna move. We're moving to the office. Ooh, that looks good. That smell. Blood. Sis! Someone's there. Chief! 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 Who are you? Chief! 
I think I might have a voice for this man. The, the strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally, she was cold. Chief. We're going to examine. This is going to be weird. <laughs> Dry blood. How ironic that this became the murder weapon again. Chief. It's hard seeing her like this, but if there's any clues here, she was struck on the head with a blunt object, probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. Yeah. Hmm. There's some glass near the chief's body. Must be pieces of glass... Of the glass light stand lying broken in the back of the room. <sighs> Nothing else seems like clues here. Hmm? A piece of paper. Must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? Oh shit, I didn't even see this. Uh, the word is written in blood on this scrap of paper. Maya, did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from the department store dated yesterday. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I'd better call the police and find out what that girl was doing here. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be different. Right, I better call the police. That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. Looks like someone was halfway through talking it, taking it apart. Police! Please, come quick! What? Oh, wait. This is... It's... It's not a man's voice. It's, um... Her. <laughs> I forgot. She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. I don't know if I've got much else. Ledger book, everything written here. I, I don't think there's anything else. Uh, chair. Oh, what the... Huh! I'm not gonna lie, that's... Weird, but... Also really good to know that there'll be nothing hiding under that. Huh. Alright, I think that's everything. There's a large building right across from the office, the Gatewater Hotel, a nice luxurious place. Uh... Yeah, this takes a little longer to go through. Alright, that's all I can do. That girl just- where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Uh-oh, I hope she didn't run on me. <laughs> Don't scare me like that! Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay. I work here. Maya. Maya Fay. Maya Fay. Maya. So Mia was writing this girl's name? Maybe I should show her the receipt. I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. That's my name! Why? Why would she write my name? Please just calm down. Why would sis write my name? Uh-oh. Now I've done it. And... I probably should have talked first. The police! It sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze! Police! 
All right, I'm det- the <laughs> fuck, that was terrible. I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? Oh, fuck, how do I do this? I need to do that Brooklyn accent, more or less. I have too much southern twang in it, shit. Gumshoe? <laughs> what an odd name. We received a report from the building across the way, see? We got a person saying there was a murder. Must have been the woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want neither of you moving one inch, Kay. Great. Just great. Maya, wait. She wouldn't have... Nah. Whoa! Excuse me. Eek! The word Maya on here... The word Maya here mean anything to you? Um, that... That's my name. What? The victim drew this here note. Oh, this victim drew this here note in her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote the killer's name. K killer? I'm not case closed. You're coming to the precinct, ma'am. What? I have no voice for gumshoe. I was not prepared for this. Maya's, Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6th, 9.07 a.m. Detention center visitor's room. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh! It's you, the lawyer. G good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. It's up to you. Better give it to her straight. It's up to you. Up to me? Yes, I don't think this is something I should decide. After all, you're the one in trouble here. They're never going to believe me, are they? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? No, no, I never thought. It's okay, I understand. And I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I, I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on the edge the whole I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. Ha! So he crashed and burned? He's a genius. Oops. One of those strike fear in the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Huh, sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. That's what she said. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia... I know. There's nothing to examine, so we're going to talk. We're going to talk about Maya. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? Oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Acolytes? Like, like religion, people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium in training. A spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Could you tell me about... The day of the murder, though? Yes! Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes! That clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. How could you have... How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Her own voice? Yes! I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. 
You recorded. You recorded it. Yeah, I forgot how to delete those things. So you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Let's hear it. Right. Oh, I just remembered that detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, right, of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for you. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. Maya's memo, blah, blah, blah. So you're an acolyte or medium in training. That's right! The Fey family, especially the women, have always been sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said the Fey family, so Mia was into this stuff too? Of course! She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class, too. I, I had no idea. Uh, wait. What? So, you're a real, honest-to-goodness spirit medium with ESP and all that? Yes, in training. Well, can't you contact me a spirit, then? We can just ask who killed her. I I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. I thought that would be too easy. Um, huh? Something the matter? Um, I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. Well, I'm in trouble. Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? Hmm. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much! I have no one else to turn to. Say, what about what about your parents? I, I see. Don't worry, leave it to me. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow at 10. Wh what Tomorrow? Tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? They told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until 4 this afternoon. And visiting hours are almost up. I'd better hurry. <clears throat> right, I'll be right back. Alright, let's go talk to this guy here. Dude, that painting's pretty cool. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention running an office like this. I guess I'll have to come back later. I'm examining. That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The oil paint is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price of it is nothing to sneeze at either for a mat of the matter. Blah, blah, blah. A table for clients. Hmm. An elegant ebony case. If I'm not mistaken, that lighter is made of solid gold. Even if I can tell someone... Tell someone's here. Even I can tell someone here's got money to burn. Alright, let's plant. An expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves. They don't look like they've ever been read. Oh, that's so. F that's messed up. A solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. Um... I think... That's all I've got, right? Yeah, I guess so. Um... Uh, let's go here. September 6th, the bold. Yes. The office is filled with police officers. They're all busy searching for clues. Hey, you there! This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing! Um, sorry, I don't know. Don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? N no, Phoenix Wright. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? Ha, <laughs> guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy, he was a killer, and you're no killer, right? He was proven in innocent. Um, right, you, and you were. 
<laughs> Gumtree! Detective Gumshoe. And you were, um, Gumshoe, wasn't it? Dick Gumshoe. Right! At your service! Hang on, that's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick, get over here! <laughs> y yes, sir. <laughs> Be right there. <laughs> um, um, you're her lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you better do it quickly. Who thinks I'm Maya's lawyer? Let's talk to him. About Mia. About Miss Faye. Did you do an autopsy? Hmm, you want to know the results, eh? Now don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get a, any special treatment. Alright, alright, you can see the report, but that's all. Uh, 9 p.m., 9 5, death was instantaneous. Instantaneous is our key word there. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that trial. Sorry, pal, but this one trial, this is one trial, you, you aren't going to win. Well, why do you say that? The city's prosecutor, Edgeworth, the city's put, the city put the prosecutor, Edgeworth, on the prosecution. This sentence sucks. <laughs> Edgeworth. I'm sure you know what that means. <laughs> you being a lawyer and all. Oh, I know who Edgeworth is. Me personally, anyway, not Phoenix. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? I do. I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Ah, uh, don't talk about him that way. You make him barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. So Edgeworth is on this one. He hasn't lost a case since he became a prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. I can't move anywhere? Um, the sky blue, blah blah blah. Plant. Well, what the hell? Uh, old movie poster. Mia's desk. And that's it, I think. Yeah, that's it. Uh, and uh, let's see. And I can't present anything, so we'll move. We'll try the law office one more time here. That doesn't work. So we'll go to the detention center. Hey! What is it? Did you meet the lawyer? Sorry. I haven't seen him yet. I see. Hmm. Better go see if I can find this elite lawyer she's talking about. I... Talk. Let's do the family thing. What about your family? I'm the only... My father died when I was very young. <sighs> oh. The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spirit... Sorry guys, I'm skipping through some of this stuff. There was a man and he, he... He ruined our mother's life. Oh yeah, I think this is actually a big part maybe. After that, she disappeared. Several, several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer, and she left the mountain. So, you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent, or I would lose my powers. I feel bad for her all by herself on the, that mountain. So, who was this man that, um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try and contact the victim. Wow, so what happened? The case was solved, we thought. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. 
police consult the police's consultation with a medium had all been carried out in secret, of course, but a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud, and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became a laughingstock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me, White? That was his name, my sister told me. White? Hmm. Alright, I think that's all I've got here again. So we're gonna go back to the law office. Shit. I guess we're moving back to the detention center. Do I just need to ask about everything? Day of the crime, could you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. I've been doing all of the last blah blah. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see, that morning, got a call. Uh. <laughs> serial murderer, man. Uh. Oh, okay, it was right around 9. So I haven't actually done this. The lights were off, and I could smell blood. Then I found her. My sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. Okay, now I can move probably to the Grossberg Law Office. Or I'm stupid. Oh, come on. Desk, 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 desk. Uh, do I need to go back to the Law Office? Talk? Wait, where do I go? Oh no! Oh no, oh. I, oh yeah! Did you see Maya Faye's cell phone? Oh that, I have that. Do you think you could give it back? Sure, I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh oh, he's on to me. Tell him straight. If I tell him why I want it, there's no way he'll give it to me. Something the matter. Oh, no, it's just, you know, detective. Nope, I know nothing, pal. That cell phone has a lot of numbers on it, like her boyfriend's. A cell phone holds all the a little girl's sweetest and spicy secrets. Er, you try- oh, wait. Shit, I read that in the wrong voice. Sorry, pal, I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive. You're quite the detective. Ugh. Uh-huh. On here? Oh, here, you can have the phone back. There weren't any sp suspicious call records in there after all. Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. Cool. Check the court record to hear... I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You all done, pal? Um, yes, thank you. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to the witness. Anyway, you better not. No influencing the witness with your lawyerly, lawyerly ways, pal. Come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. The witness? Yeah, Miss April May. I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name. Miss May, huh? So you've sent her home already, then. Ha! <laughs> You're trying your lawyerly tricks on me now. She's not to go outside her room until the trial. So, she's still in the hotel, hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try and pick a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. Uh... Yep. Alright, let's move. Try the Grossberg. I didn't think so. We'll go to the hotel. More September 6th hotel stuff. Well, hello! <laughs> oh, shit! I didn't even read, I just said, well, hello. Well, hello there, handsome! Um, hi. Smooth, right? <laughs> Real smooth. <laughs> You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. Tee <laughs> hee. Memo self. Thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. 
like, gee, this is all like something out of a movie. It's all exciting. I can hardly contain myself. Oh, let me go freshen up so I can look part of the look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. But I pity the lawyer that has to cross-examine this one. First off, I see that in my corner of my eye. There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. Yeah? H hey! What were you doing? No touching! Oh, bad boy. You really shouldn't pry around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. The late summer sunlight streams through the window. They... Yeah. There's two glasses sitting there. Oh, okay, there it is. Somebody must have been staying with her. Ah, uh, blah, blah. I'm just covering all my tracks because I know stuff gets complicated fast. Alright, back. Let's talk! Uh, what you witnessed? Do you think you could tell me something? I need to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Oh, observe? Incident? You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. <laughs> Better not encourage her. Er, you know that thing that occur um happened the other day, the bad thing? <laughs> what did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it. Pretty please? Let's see, um, well, DREAM ON! If you want to know, you'll just have to come to the court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh boy. Um, could you just... Who exactly are you? Oh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? N no Hey, I'm just doing my job here. <laughs> you know, you're cute when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. Um, <laughs> Right, can you just tell me what it is you do? Well, no, tee <laughs> You just did. And you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh, boy. I see there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Oh, what amazing powers of observation. You must be one of those famous detectives, like on television. Oh, no, not me. I'm uh, just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage? Hmm? Miss May doesn't like nosy little lawyers. Hmm. Oh boy. Yep, that's it, I think. Uh, what? Well, out again? Well, maybe I should just wait here for him to come back. <laughs> If that wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. <laughs> so, you're the one who they say has been looking for me. Uh, yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. <laughs> that badge on your collar. Ha! Huh? You're a lawyer, are you now? Y yes, well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please proceed. If you're not busy, then how come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm? Something the matter. You come to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, I'm here. Here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it! Um, well, well sir, actually, it's about Maya. Maya Fay. Ah, yes. Maya Fay. Go on. Hmm. Why the strange reaction? Ha cha cha! I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go on. T I can't go taking case on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. W wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Er, um. Uh, anyway, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry. End of discussion. W what's going on? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? What the hell is with your refusal? How can you refuse like that? Please tell me, why won't you take the case? Hmm? Uh, yeah, well, uh, you see, it's just I'm busy, you see. But the client is Mia Fey's sister. Hmm? <laughs> uh, Mia, Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course, I know that. However, 
I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry, goodbye. Creep. Fine. I don't have the time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. I <laughs> think not. Huh. Did you say something? I, I think not, I said. W what do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry, but... I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will take this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I, I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you please leave? Now, I have nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? How did you know Mia? She, she worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day, quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? My throat hurts. <laughs> you could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back, that one. That's quite a painting. Ah, you noticed! <laughs> That's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat. <laughs> it's worth at least three million. I have no intention with parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. I wasn't interested. It's not for sale. I'm not buying. I'm not buying. Jeez. All right. And the last place is going back to Maya here. Hiya! Oh, you're back! Did you find the lawyer? Um, well... What do I tell her? Well, see... I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. What really happened? You don't mean he refu He refused to help? <clears throat> I see. I've been abandoned then. Just a little longer now before the state-appointed lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? No, we're defending you. I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Wh why? Why? Well... I can't abandon you. <sighs> oh, shit. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. Sir, I... yep. Well, let's fight this one. And get you out of here. R right thank you! She smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. Are, you are innocent, right? Yes! And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So, what's next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just, what was inside that strange woman's drawer? And it was when I tried to look in the drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. Quick examine, smile for the camera. Bars on window? No. And the guy. Yep. Real pro. Alright, I think that's it. Wait. Might not. Let's go back to the hotel. Well, hello! Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are? Ah, oh, I beg your pardon, sir. I'm the bellboy of this establishment at your service. Oh, right. I've come up with the deliver... To deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? I believe the guest Miss May is currently using her... The, uh, facilities? <laughs> I, you've no need of anything. I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait, no, hey! Hmm. Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, 
Now's my chance to snoop around a bit. Ah, I almost forgot. Ha! Y you came back quickly. Might I ask to inform that Miss May to inform Miss May that there is a message for her. Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Oh, right, sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp. Where have I heard that name? Yeah. From Maya herself. Because he's a dick. Could it be coincidence? Examine. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There's a screwdriver. What do we have here? A wiretap. Hmm? What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Damn right it's in the court evidence. There's definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all of this. I know it. All right. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For Maya's sake. I'll get to this woman's bottom. Wait, I mean, you know what I mean. Oh, bellboy, still there? <laughs> Uh-oh, time to scram. I look forward to tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court. And that's where we're going to end it off today, guys. Uh, not much court. That's, you know, next episode. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, that that's all. I hope you're enjoying. Uh, the only thing that's bad for me is these episodes go on for about 40 minutes and my throat hurts. Two episodes in a row, like, actually hurts. Holy crap, I've not done voices like this ever. So, <laughs> oh, it's always short bursts and that's it. But we'll just, I want, let's get you on with your day. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Let me know what you think of the series. All that great stuff. We're about to meet one of my favorite characters in the series. Uh, I've got some backstory too, if I ever get a friend on here, possibly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but if you don't do any of those other things, at the very least, please remember to stay wacky out there and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.